Tonight, a story of technology, power, and a decision sending shockwaves from Europe to Asia. Imagine a factory in the Netherlands, a hub of innovation making tiny electronic parts essential for our modern lives. For years, Nexperia was a symbol of Dutch technological strength. Now, the lights are dimming. The company is moving key operations, not across the street, but all the way to China. This isn't just a business decision, it's a headline moment in a global drama. Dutch retreat, Nexperia returns to China. Amid escalating global AI power struggle, that's the headline everyone is talking about. Why would a company with deep European roots pivot so dramatically east? The answer involves governments, global ambitions, and a struggle for control over the technology that will define our future. The United States and its allies have tightened technology exports to China, trying to slow its rise. For Nexperia, owned by a Chinese entity, navigating these restrictions became impossible. The world is splitting into technology camps, and companies are being forced to choose a side. Nexperia's journey from the Netherlands to China is a chapter in a much larger story about a world being reshaped before our eyes. The company at the center of the storm. Nexperia isn't a household name, but it's a major player in semiconductors, the building blocks of all modern electronics. They make essential chips, transistors, and diodes found in nearly every device. Once part of Dutch giants, Philips and NXP, Nexperia was sold in 2017 to China's WingTech Technology. Now it's a company with Dutch heritage, European employees, and Chinese ownership. For years, this global arrangement worked. Nexperia thrived, employing hundreds in Nijmegen and producing billions of chips for cars, smartphones, and more. But the world changed. Tensions between the West and China grew. Technology became a matter of national security. Suddenly, a company with Dutch roots and Chinese ownership found itself in a precarious position. Nexperia became a symbol of the tangled web of globalized tech. Its story shows how hard it is to untangle these connections when politics intervene. The company at the center of this storm is a perfect example of the new challenges we face. To understand Nexperia's move, you have to see the bigger fight, the global chip war. This isn't a war with soldiers, but it's just as serious. Control over semiconductor technology is the prize. The US leads in chip design, but most manufacturing happens in Asia, especially Taiwan. America fears dependence on foreign chips and China's rapid catch-up. The US has imposed strict export controls to block China from advanced chip technology especially for AI and military use. Allies like the Netherlands have joined in, restricting sales of advanced chip-making equipment to China. Nexperia, Dutch by location but Chinese-owned, is caught in the crossfire. The US sees it as a potential pipeline for Chinese access to Western tech. Pressure from all sides made Nexperia's position impossible. The global chip war is forcing everyone to pick a side. The era of easy global cooperation in technology is ending. Nexperia's story is a sign of this new reality. It's hard to overstate how vital these tiny chips are. A semiconductor chip is like a miniature brain, controlling the flow of electricity to perform calculations and run software. Without them, none of our technology would work. Phones, laptops, cars, even coffee makers. Modern cars can have over a thousand chips, controlling everything from engines to safety features. The recent car shortage showed how fragile our chip supply chains are. Nexperia's chips are the workhorses, managing power and keeping systems running. The next revolution is artificial intelligence, which needs the most powerful chips. The country that leads in AI will likely dominate the 21st century. That's why the U.S. is determined to stay ahead of China in chip technology. Advanced chips are essential for military equipment. Jets, drones, missile guidance. Washington fears China could use this tech to modernize its military. The fight over these tiny brains is a fight for global influence and security. The chip war is about who controls the future. For Nexperia, 
the world suddenly became a much tougher place to do business. US-led rules targeted China's tech ambitions, but also created collateral damage. Nexperia, with European roots and Chinese ownership, was caught in the crossfire. Export controls meant Nexperia had to navigate a maze of legal restrictions on what it could sell and to whom. Uncertainty and risk soared. The Dutch government, under US pressure, imposed its own restrictions, blocking sales of advanced equipment and scrutinizing Nexperia's moves. Nexperia's attempt to acquire a Dutch startup was blocked over national security concerns. The company was now seen as a potential threat, not just a business. Compliance costs and legal risks skyrocketed. For Nexperia's Chinese parent, WingTech, the situation became untenable. Why keep a key business in a place full of obstacles? The logic of moving became overwhelming. Facing mounting pressure, Nexperia's leadership made a pivotal decision move key R&D and production from the Netherlands to China. In China, Nexperia would be welcomed, not viewed with suspicion. The move brings Nexperia closer to its parent, WingTech, allowing better integration and resource sharing. It puts the company in the world's largest, fastest-growing semiconductor market. Chinese companies need the chips Nexperia makes, and being local is a huge advantage. The Chinese government offers subsidies, tax breaks, and support for companies building its chip industry. For Nexperia, this means lower costs and strong backing. The business case for relocating outweighed historical ties to the Netherlands. For Europe, it's a blow to its tech ambitions and efforts at technological sovereignty. Despite political rhetoric and subsidies, the pull of China and the push of Western restrictions prove stronger. Nexperia's move is a clear signal of where the power is shifting.